Welcome back to Shit They Don't Tell You. I'm Nikki Limo. What up? I'm Steve Green. And I want to introduce the show. Okay, go for it. Hello. Welcome to Shit They Don't Tell You. My name is Steve Green. And I'm Nikki Limo. And I'm, I thought that was so much oh. better. And today, that was really good. we have actress, comedian, very hot lady. Check out her Instagram. I'm Thank serious. You. Um, Sid Wilder. Yay! Yay! Thanks for being on. Thank you for having me. I've known Sid for so long, and I'm so excited to finally have her on. And also, I just love her hair. She has like different wigs, wigs and extensions and all kinds of fun stuff that yeah. like I'm too scared to play with on my own. But I like love watching other people do it. Why don't you want to do it? I don't know. I just um I get like. Like, I get like, oh, this is taking too much time. Yeah. I don't dye my hair. I don't do anything to my hair. Like, I just didn't, like, I didn't even brush it today. I mean, it's I beautiful. Get, thank you. Sid, why don't you want a sitcom? Like, um, a, seem, Sid, a sitcom. You, a you sitcom. seem like like uh, like somebody who's already on a sitcom. Even, like, when you come into rooms, I'm like, this is like a character from a sitcom. That's it's like, applause should happen when you come into a room. <laughs> like the laugh track. Yeah, and you got to wait to give your line. You know what I mean? <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, yeah. I would love that. That would be amazing. Yeah. I, you know, I haven't really got that many opportunities, but I make my own. So you, just like you guys, I yeah. love what, what you guys do. And you know, it'll happen. I've been here for twelve years. I'm not trying to like hustle. Like and you've been in Hollywood for twelve years. Twelve years. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So yeah. I'm, about, I'm about to say. Two thousand eight, right? Two thousand seven. Two thousand seven. Oh, yeah. Two thousand eight. Wow. Yeah. So we all moved out when Ledoux was popular. Yes. The hills right. were popular. Yes. Britney Spears had her mental breakdown for the first oh my time. God. Shaved yeah. her head. The Bad. hills, dude. I watched the hills. That she was, was performing for the first time after her breakdown on MTV and then everyone was calling her fat and I was like what are you talking about she looks fine and then like everyone's like oh, she's fat now I'm like what she just had a baby yeah people I, are weird they were so mean and, and by the time she, she was like more in shape than I was at the time too. dude I never like, watched that Laguna Beach and people were like you gotta watch Laguna Beach first and I was like I'm just gonna watch the hills and I did and I loved it did you have <laughs> yep <laughs> Did you have your hair like any particular way? No, I can't conform to any of that. <laughs> Only because of the shape of my head and all that stuff. I can't do it. He's always done it that way. The shape of your scumless. head? What do you mean the shape of your head? Oh, I just have a weirdly shaped head. <laughs> he does have a weirdly shaped head. Very I, I can't confirm. And a lot of hat people and hat makers, they get really pissed when I come in. And yeah, it's, it's weird. I got out. him a couple of hats before. It just doesn't work. It That's doesn't work hysterical. on my head. That's hysterical. Yeah, yeah. hats look really weird on me. And um, I, think I don't know what to do. I want you to have your own hat line. That's what I, I want you to fucking do. You should. And like hats for weird shaped people. For people with weirdly shaped heads. <laughs> yeah. Hey, what a brand? What a brand? I think there's a niche out there for that I because there there's got to be more weird shaped heads out there. I you think have, so. Like, are you Scandinavian? What are you? Oh my God. I'm just like a white white guy. I'm Indianan. <laughs> I'm Indianan. How about that? You're Is from it, Indiana? Yeah. Oh, you cool. think it's because like your mom like had you lay in the same position too long in the crib for a while? Because like sure. it happens to people. I'm sure. <laughs> like, it yeah. does. Like I had my head up against the bars of the crib or something for too long. Like, uh, one of and our friends, uh, their her son, she had him wear a helmet for a while because his head was shaped so weird, and she didn't want him to grow into adult form that and way. So now he has a helmet head. Oh no, no, no! Gosh. It's like a shaped in a in like the. It's a specific helmet that a doctor made to make his head shape. Like it's like braces it's for your head. For well, if your only child. that shit existed when I was a kid. Thanks a lot, mom. <laughs> Jesus. Well, it's probably expensive. This is just like Nikki has scoliosis because her parents didn't get a second opinion when um, when they're going to the doctor. Over you have, being pigeon-toed. You have scoliosis? Yeah, but I, I don't know if that was related to the scoliosis. Um, I'm pigeon-toed because of that. Like, it could have gotten corrected, but then it didn't. And then I'm just like, yeah, then I got scoliosis later because I think because I used to have a heavy backpack in middle school. Oh, yeah. Because remember, we used to have to take our textbooks so home I, with us. I don't, I don't have no scoliosis. But did you well, carry your true. bags home once? Your head yes, balanced it I out. I did because it was cool. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, it was all imbalanced, I guess. <laughs> um, I can carry it with the strap around my forehead because my head's so fucking so. big. Yeah. But speaking about being deformed and ugly. <laughs> no. It's a, you have a beautiful head. Don't let anyone no, tell but, 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 you're, but you're nice. I like it. I think it's beautiful. Oh, yeah. You're unique and special. Hey, look, yeah. I, I Who needs a perfect shape head? Yeah. I don't lack for confidence. I just think I had a weirdly shaped head and beautiful. I'm talking about it. I, I think it's a great shape. I don't know well, what you're you. talking about. Well, thank you. You're welcome. It's pretty, it's, I, I could recognize it in a lineup. That's for sure. That's like, for if I had to sure. save you yeah. and it's unique. <laughs> rescue it's, you from some kidnappers. It's almost comic bookian. Where like you know, <laughs> not not the hero though. Right. But the villain. The, the no, villain. I was gonna say the yeah. victim. <laughs> the victim. <Or> could be. <laughs> but it's so could opposite be. of the villain. Not, like definitely they, not the lead character. Where they put a lot of work the into it. <laughs> for me, they freehand that shit and then it's done. I yeah. can see that. Yeah. I can see so that. So today with Sid, I really wanted to talk about a thing called ugly duckling syndrome. For sure. I don't know if any of you out there have heard of this. It's gotten brought up to me before after showing a picture of what I used to look like as a teenager. And uh, there's a few definitions. So I'm on Urban Dictionary right now. And mm. I'm going to read you a few of the definitions for okay. it. And we'll see if it relates. Mm. Um, ugly duckling syndrome. Okay. Beautiful people who didn't get pretty until high school or later and were nice because they were ugly. The niceness carries over through life. 
<laughs> so, yeah. yeah. That's yeah. one that's one of the definitions. I like um, that one. Uh, two is when a person used to be really ugly as a kid, but then later turned out to be really good looking. I'd say that applies. Yeah. Um, a situation uh, where a girl who used to be ugly before puberty becomes hot, but still in her own mind, she thinks she's ugly. So that, like that, sometimes that can carry over, like where they don't recognize that they actually turned yeah pretty, yeah, so yeah, they yeah. like still like oh yeah kind still of have insecure. Mm-hmm. Um, this one's my favorite. When a person who used to be somewhat awkward and not attractive, though not necessarily unattractive, becomes extremely beautiful because this person used to be unattractive, bitter and jealous. People assume they are emotionally damaged, scarred, <laughs> hence they believe the aforementioned beauty is mentally demented, while they themselves are sympathetically retarded. I like that one. Okay. Um, and then this one is a girl who grew up all her life unattractive until high school or college when she then blossomed into a really hot girl. Unlike natural pretty girls, though, her self-esteem is pretty low, as it'll almost permanently be for all her life. But she has a good heart, personality, and soul because that's all she could afford to have when she was unattractive. Pretty much. <laughs> also, any girl with u- ugly duckling syndrome will go out with any guy because to her, looks don't matter as long as they have a good sense of humor. As long as they never realize they're 10, they'll always be humbled and down to earth that makes me like have goosebumps because i literally say that all the time that, really like, i people are like do you have a type no i don't really care about what people look like as yeah. long as they like That's make me laugh sure. yeah 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 um, not that you're like unattractive i'm no, i'm fucking I mean, lucked out so. you're attractive no, i'm you just know, saying I'm that yourself beautiful man i'm <laughs> saying that sense of humor is what i, I see know. first like people are literally unsexual blobs to me. They're just like androgynous blobs until they make me laugh, and then all of a sudden they're the most attractive person in the world to me. Yeah, yeah. And I heard the story of what you did for her, which was like honestly, that's the most attractive thing when you see someone's heart when yeah. he got you the gift card. Yeah, for grocery shopping. I found shopping. it on the ground when I was. <laughs> Shut <laughs> up. I did. I found it on the ground. I'm full. Shut up. You didn't put thought in? behind that. What is it? You didn't put any thought behind that because that made you score serious points. I he's see, he's I, fucking I, with you. Oh, there was okay. a whole handwritten note in there. Okay. <laughs> Right. I, I didn't sign it. Uh, <laughs> yes, you did. <laughs> yeah, I have it in my one of my old journals. Aww. I signed it. Yeah, that's sweet. you. Like, that's sweet from Steve. Oh, that's yeah. sweet. That's, that's what I love. I love when you see yeah. someone's like beautiful heart like that. I think that's like really nice. Yeah, it's it doesn't thoughtful. matter the exterior as long uh-uh. as they like have it. a beautiful. Yeah. Heart. Yeah. yeah, it is true. No, that's what I like. I, and I but yeah. I still pick assholes. But I totally agree with what you're saying. Like usually girls that have that ugly duckling syndrome don't think that they're as hot yeah. because of what they had to grow up with. And they definitely, I had to learn a personality. Yeah. And I always had a good heart. I was always giving my friends money to, hang, <laughs> to like, you know, like want to hang out with me. me. Yeah. You know, I was like horrible. I'd buy people lunch stuff. Like, That's I was so just funny. So, I was de- depressingly annoying. That's yeah. like Nikki's story. Yeah, You basically I know. just told a Nikki story. Yeah. Really? Yeah. This is, I can relate to ugly duckling syndrome um, just because uh, yeah, I had always just, I came to terms with it. I feel like when I was in high school, I was like, okay, I'm not like the pretty one. The guys aren't gonna like go for me. Yeah, but I like making people laugh. I like having guy friends. Yeah, and I'll just be like the le- the like wing girl. Yeah, you know? yeah. And then like later in, I think you know, because I was consciously always trying. You're always trying to like look better and like yeah. try to make yourself blend in with the other girls. So I felt I feel like that all like caught up after I had already accepted that I wasn't ever right. gonna be that. Right. And so when I moved to LA, I kept getting sent out for roles that were like for the pretty girl or the hot friend. And I'm like, I don't, I can't play these roles. I would like full on like tell my agent, like they're gonna call in like act, like actually hot people. So oh, like- and you like, were one like, of like, them. I, like, I, I wanna be the best friend, like the goofy, <sighs> like like the laugh line. Like I don't wanna yeah, be yeah, that. Yeah. I don't I don't know. That the just, sidekick. It freaked me out. Yeah. Like I full on cried and my agent, agent's office because really? I was like, I, I can't do those roles. See, when I was, okay, so I started noticing, so my sister was like prom queen or whatever and she was super hot and like she like, I was like, okay, she was a cheerleader, I was playing basketball, I was like, I gotta switch sports here. You yeah. know, like something's gotta change. So I started cheerleading and then I, you know, started caring about makeup because I was around all these gay Wait, guys who was like, honey, no. We're... Before you go into that, yeah, yeah, yeah. can I just say, go for it. Sid, and I wouldn't have picked this topic for you if I hadn't seen this, but like you posted, um, she go to her Instagram, yeah, yeah. Uh, Instagram.com slash yeah. Sid Wilder is it? Yeah, it's just your name, right? And and like she we post some throwbacks of her as a kid in 
in her basketball uniform and I didn't believe her the first time she told me she looked like a boy but she actually legit looks like a boy and there's a couple pictures with you and your sister where you're in a dress you're like matching dresses and you look like a boy wearing a dress <laughs> you look like right? a, you're in a kids in the hall sketch and I'm not even like there's it's not an exaggeration like she full on has like a boy hair like she it's all short I was lied to a lot as a child my grandfather said I was attractive and I believed him and you my mother said I was attractive no because not they saw haircut. your inner being they okay saw, you know what go. that doesn't count <laughs> See, to other people. But that's what we're saying about, you know, guys, guys well, that were we potential dating to partners. We learn that, though. Right. If we were hot at the get-go, we would have never appreciated that's that true. quality. That's you know true. what I mean? We would have been like, hot guys only. Yeah, I know. We would have been so vapid. So yeah. it's kind of like good that we got humbled really young. Yes. And we learned like what really matters in life, I think. So so let's continue with your journey. But How did photos. you get out of those photos and into this blossomed woman that you are now? Well, first of all, it's like I got to grow my hair out Step one, <laughs> did that. Oh, you call. had like a boy cut, like a picture. Yeah, let me, let me just yeah. pull it's, up. You have to. Have you not? What? He hasn't what seen kind of research do you one. do in your guests before? No, he does all the, the research. research. <laughs> I just rip. I'm here to fucking hang he doesn't, like, he, he doesn't like to get in his head. <laughs> the vibe. So, yeah. yeah, he doesn't like I'm to get in his head. Person. So if I tell him too much information, then Listen, he... there's two things happening on this show. Nikki's trying to inform the audience, and I'm trying to set the vibe. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you're like Johnny Carson. He's a vibe setter. Yeah, yeah. That's what's going I'm on. I'm the person that actually does all the That's prep. That's why I always you know, ask people work. listening. I'm like, do you really want to know shit or do you want to just hang? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And you're the one that... I'm the one setting the hang. I'm the one yeah. prepping everything. I'm the and one making, dipping the lights and getting the nacho cheese dip. Happen. And I'm going, isn't this party fun? And then Nikki set the whole party up and did everything. And I'm just like, <laughs> And you yeah. just collect all the And she's all having the panic attack in the corner. Yes. And you're the yes. one giving That's her exactly alcohol. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's okay, exactly got it. It's just my whole thing. I see that happening. I love that. She really buried these pictures. Oh, look, there's us. Oh, no, I didn't mean to. But yeah, so I decided well you're looking for the photo I'll yeah just yeah the space. Sits butt, sits yeah, boobs, yeah. Sits butt, sits <laughs> i uh i grew my hair out i just i dyed it blonde i learned how to do my makeup oh, and wow. it was a lot of trial and error yeah you're in overalls yeah, yeah, we'll yeah. have no, to put no, this no, on no, screen yeah. the other one where i'm dancing a little bit i need to, i need to throw more photos back of me you look like, like a person that. in the hills have eyes in that one. Oh my gosh i look like jay leno's long lost son yeah you do <laughs> you know what i mean yeah, with same same clothes yeah i know it's it's horrible like i'm wearing Double overalls denim? on yeah and but i had red socks who hated you that much to let you my, i asked my mother that i was like did you not have any respect for me as your child or for yourself as a mother <laughs> yeah. to let me out in public dressed like that double denim in the 90s right well who does that hmm. that was just horrible and then that was me i was yeah that was really it was really awful um you i like pokemon her, you look like my friend michael gallagher <laughs> I do look yeah, like it's like dead gallagher. ringer you do <laughs> oh my god i feel so mean to to no, pass it's it funny. But like, it's hysterical it's hey michael don't you like being a before picture for uh for sid wilder here we should do we should do a picture of michael and i together yeah we'll yeah and yeah we'll that would it. be so fucking funny they, they, that, that would be so funny <laughs> that's beautiful but wait where's the one is it still down there the, there's one where i oh you already with the top yeah there's one where it's so fucking funny i'll pull it up I can I can't find they're all pretty good. Yeah. They're all pretty there. Because they've seen some real <laughs> gems. They're so bad. So, yeah. So, I noticed my sister was doing that. I was like, I got to get hot because clearly, like, if I want to have friends or, like, boys pay attention to me, mm -hmm. then I need to, like, kind of have a glow up here. Okay. Yeah. So, I did that and I got made fun of a lot for my makeup because I thought blue eyeliner and red lipstick with oh, yeah. white on the inside would look like super I look like the girl from oh what was that one show with Drew Carey oh yeah. Mimi yeah. Mimi yeah. I look like Mimi yeah. so it didn't go over show. great but like I learned how to do my makeup as like a defense mechanism mm -hmm. <laughs> it's like okay I gotta figure out how to paint the shit and so yeah and I then, borrowed my mom's makeup and she's white and I was very brown and it was it was pretty hilarious you, I looked like just uh, someone from the Victorian era yes like <laughs> a geisha her mom just like looks a like a white lady that you see at <laughs> yeah. the grocery store all the time she's so pretty I yeah, love she's the best but yeah, she's she blonde, doesn't look like Nikki. She's white. Yeah. She's and the got skin tone green is eyes. Way off, so. But I, I didn't care. I was wearing makeup. <laughs> Growing up, were you like, yeah, you're like, I'm hot. I have makeup on. Yeah, Hello. look at me. <laughs> Doesn't anyone know this? I was like, it covered all my like little acne scars. Or Aww. Stuff. <laughs> it, and it's it's interesting too because like once you have that like shift of okay, I'm gonna be hot because like mine was kind of overnight. Like literally, I started wearing I, I peed the bed. So whatever, I don't give a fuck. I was like uh, peeing the bed wearing pull ups, and then next thing you know, I'm fucking hot. 
Like, it's, like, yeah. weird. Like, I was, like, you know, I had blonde hair. I looked hot. Guys were dating me. I lied about my age. What happened? Oh, you, Puberty? like, transformed. Yeah, I just, I don't know. I don't know what happened. But then I got yeah. implants when I was in my teens. So that also You got helped. it in your teens? Yeah. How was wow. that? Wow. Um, you are you the most popular girl in school after that? I was homeschooled, so. Oh, come yeah. on. So, Why'd yeah. you get implants at all, then? Well, because bullying was so bad. And, like, I just felt, because I was teased so much. Like, I, everyone said that I had a sex change. Oh. So, like, that really fucked with my head a lot. Like, they would put tampons in my locker and, like, you know, throw me into the lockers when I have braces and like bust open my mouth. It was like awful. Oh, that's why you became homeschooled. Yeah, you got put in a locker. Yeah, like a you carry movie. Kids? Like your yeah. your carry. We didn't have lockers that would fit kids. Really? Yeah, it was just barely you could fit. Yeah, that makes me feel so feminine. Yeah, no, good job. Um, but yeah, <laughs> when I saw small. that scene in small. Carrie where, where they threw tampons, I was like, nobody does that. Oh yeah, they really? would stuff them in my lockers and tell me that I had a sex change. But that's and free write, tampons yeah. for you. Those are things are expensive. Uh, I don't, I don't, they were expensive. Is that what you just said? That's hysterical. So even. I don't know you're concerned about that. <laughs> I just love a good deal. Everyone knows that about me. <laughs> I should have saved them, but yeah. I didn't have my period at that point. Oh, I see. <laughs> I had no use for them. So even after you like blossomed and tried to fit in and, and look like a, a pretty girl, like yeah. then they were like, no, fuck you. You're still a boy. Like, fuck you. Yeah, well, then I was a whore. Oh, why? Yeah. Because yeah. um, you how did that, that jump? Uh, well, I got raped. Like, oh for like, legit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So then everyone was saying I was fucking everyone. This yeah. got serious. No, it's not. I mean, I talk about it all the time. I've been raped. My first two experiences I was raped by a guy and then the second time I was raped by a girl. So I'm like, I learned the anatomy pretty Whoa, quick. Of you're like, by a girl? Yeah, yeah. But like I don't let that affect me. Like well, some people you. are super like frigid about that. I'm like, I'm actually really open with you're my like, sexuality. You're like, I'm a survivor. Yeah, yeah. I don't like want to be a victim of that. I'm like, actually, you know what? I'm hypersexual probably because of it. And I own my powers as yeah. a sexual being and woman. Like I don't like let that define me. So yeah, I think that's really important. It is a healing process too. Is, yeah, like yeah. because you own it instead of letting it take that letting them having take that away from you yeah. you instead take the power back and you own it yeah but that was another reason why I was homeschooled because I was like okay these motherfuckers like I'm oh not a whore I promise I just look really Dude, slutty so you get raped and then they call you a whore for that yeah that isn't that is crazy nuts, wow but that's life though there's so many stories that are like never that never had that you know in my I mean? life but oh, that's really? crazy Dude, you oh. must read hate comments now and be like yeah <laughs> Like, yeah, eh. you can't do anything to me, dude. Literally, I kind of feel like that after the life that I've lived. I'm like, fucking come for me. Yeah. You know what I mean? What, like, what they, try what me, can bitch. They do? Right. It's like I've literally been through hell and back. I don't know how the fuck I'm still here, but I am. Wow. <laughs> That's insane. <laughs> yeah, but but I think being beautiful. There's so many different types of beautiful. Oh, sorry, I just hit the table. Not sorry. Okay. You're good. I, I'm don't making sure Steve does it don't all the time. Apologize to those people. <laughs> not people. Sound, but yeah, I think it's important to like own who you are and to embrace whatever beautiful you think you know is, is good for you some people want to be curvy some people want to be very voluptuous some people want to get surgery I am very open about getting surgery I get plastic surgery all the time every three months I gotta get my Botox because I want to be like Joan Rivers when I <laughs> <laughs> is that right? well you know I'm like Jennifer Coolidge and then maybe her yeah, but I'll have it. a lot of faces Jennifer Coolidge is hot she's super hot yeah. like why not you know what I mean and she's mm-hmm. so yeah. funny but no, I love that you're so open with that because yeah. um, I didn't really realize this and this is, I'm just so dumb like to all of this stuff but in until I guess because I didn't really have a big group of girlfriends because of all of that stuff. Were you a good um, guy? You're the yeah, girl. Like the, yeah, the guy. yeah, exactly. Yeah. I had all the guy friends, um, and so I just recently found like groups of girlfriends, and almost all of them have gotten work done. And yeah. they, I would have never guessed, like, because I just assume no one's really gotten work done unless you're special or like you're like a celebrity person or whatever. That's your job. Yeah. But like, even just people that aren't in the public eye like they still have gotten worked in and I was like my eyes got really open to it because I um I guess subconsciously I would judge because um I just thought like oh you're one of those people over here right. that get work done and you want to be a model and it's very superficial yeah but then um like seeing how like everybody I knew basically has gotten something done mm-hmm. um I, I started questioning like oh my god like they're just owning it like they're just like that's they wanted to get it done for them and like they they feel better like when they look better and what's the difference between that and makeup or like I got braces like you know stuff like that that makes your aesthetics look more like how you want yourself to look yeah a better version of yourself and of course so yeah I, I feel like the more we take that stigma away and like it's I don't know the more people will be open to how it's like it's just what about the Ken them. doll dude the living Ken doll guy 
I feel can like the if, stigma exists for him alone. Okay, there's I people mean, that get addicted to funny. things, just like anything. There's going to yeah. be people that but, take it too far. You know, if he likes the way he looks, fuck it. You, well, know, you know what, what I I'm mean? Saying, though? I don't want to look at him, though. So you're but saying you can do, still judge him? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can <laughs> totally judge him. What I find in situations like yours, because you're married and stuff, the husbands hate the girls to get the work done. Have, have you gotten anything mm, done yet? No, I haven't. Would you be cool if she got something sure, done? Sure, of course. Really? Yeah. You're such a cool the husband. The only thing that I, I've talked about wanting to get done is lipo because oh, yeah. um, I feel like I go through so many hardcore workout sessions. I hire personal trainers. I do. I go on d- diets. I do the low carb or the low fat or whatever the thing is. Like I've done everything to try to like lose this last bit of stomach fat and it's yep. just in my stomach like arms fine yeah like legs fine everything's fine except for like just all of its stores in my stomach so the only thing i've ever talked about is getting possibly lipo done but even that i'm like that's i just thought that that was just something that like big celebrities get i didn't think like normal people got of course like, they lipo. do i'll give you I my didn't... girl's number she's awesome dr trot shout out girl <laughs> love her she did me you see her in 2014 months, apparently yeah no not her i go to a different doctor for oh, that yeah, i go to a facial guy for that but yeah. she's great with body work like amazing awesome. she's called the lipo queen actually really yeah, yeah yeah and she like the same problem you had is what i had i did cool sculpting yeah I did everything i could i did every Smart diet lipo everything before i decided i was like you know what i just want to get lipo because this is some bullshit like so i cool want to yeah. some bullshit i for me it didn't work I, i've never people, heard of anyone having it work but i see billboards for it everywhere yeah, because no, it's it great work. marketing so it's kind of like the dick pills at the gas station yes. yeah yeah mm-hmm. the rhino pills <laughs> rhino pellets or whatever the fuck right yeah. <laughs> jesus but that's what i like about you too is that you're a hard worker it's not like you were just like i'm lazy i just want to look the way i want to look without yeah you know work. you like put a lot of if you have a goal like you're a person that's driven you go and do it you put in the work and then it's like if the work's still not coming okay I'm just gonna like and you're very to brand you're always to brand yeah. are you never not on your brand I mean cause like you came in here you were you were zipped up and then you're like hang on I gotta take my tits hey, out cause we're about to film I gotta take my tits out yeah we're gonna film <laughs> like that's, that's part of them. who she is you gotta just yeah, it's it. so funny you're just always on brand thank you yeah, no. yeah. and I if you're not watching the I'm YouTube version of this you're missing out you should watch the YouTube version of did you really say YouTube yeah, there's a well because the podcast is released everywhere, but then the YouTube version oh, is the video version. Yes. yes, bring me back so, to YouTube. Yes, bring yep. me my tits back to YouTube, please. Thank you. <laughs> we'll put you They're in the thumbnail. <laughs> <laughs> just like epicenter, like cut the face out. Yeah, <laughs> that's it. There it is. You go. Give me your thumbnail. There it is. Yes, <laughs> horrible. I'm horrible. But no, you should get lipo if you want it. It yeah. gave me a curve to my uh, stomach. Mm-hmm. that I never had before because I was just kind of like a barrel. I was kind of like just straight mm. up and down. And when I had it, it, she gave me like this beautiful curve. That is it sculpted. true? Um, sculpted. Is Thank it true you. that when they take it out of like your stomach, let's it say, grows back somewhere else? Yeah. Okay, so I haven't had that problem, but I did just get diagnosed with hypothyroidism and I got put oh. on Synthroid. That made me gain weight, which pissed me the fuck off. Yeah. So it made me gain like four and a half pounds. Yes, I got on the scale today to figure that shit out. And I was like, this is some bullshit. I'm not happy right now. I it's don't just, see it anywhere. Thank you, but no. I feel it. I get it. But yeah, I know. It's like, you know, when you're in front of the camera and you have to pay attention to that bullshit. It's yes. like your job. Your body is your office, basically. Yes. So, um, so that was the only time I've ever had any weight gain from the lipo but I was very strict because that shit is not cheap so yeah, I was like exactly. I was like okay I'm not gonna fuck this up with my diet <laughs> I'm not gonna fuck this up with drinking exercise yeah, yeah. what's I had to lipo be on run it. people on average <sighs> Like five. Um, like I think cheap on the cheap end it's like four or five and then in the Beverly Hills end it's like Ten, ten and upward. Is it really? Yeah, yeah. Wow, gotcha. ten. I'm so, gonna say so ten to be why, conservative. So then that's why you're like, I'm not fucking. No, with this. it's like a car. Yeah, I get yeah. it. It was like a car. Okay, I yeah. was like, this is an investment in my future. Wait, which your body's helped. like your life car. Yeah, it really is like your life <laughs> car. And I did my first fitness shoot after that, which for me, you know, as you know, go. Were you ever a fat kid, Steve? Uh, not no, really. No, he no. Was, he was skinny as fuck. I was really hot, yeah. always yeah. hot. He was. He always yeah. talks about he was like <laughs> a popular know. kid mm-hmm. in high school. Mm-hmm. Really? You're yeah. probably friends with everybody. Yeah, yeah. he yeah. was like, um, what were you like, prom king or something like that? No, I well, you were like... I didn't run. Uh, well, uh, if I ran, I would He was won. too cool to run. Yeah, yeah of course. <laughs> I, I can see that. I just say she's pissed because she had no friends. It's fun. No, but so yeah, so no, I did okay in high school just because I knew what I liked to do and people liked watching me do plays and fucking comedy stuff. Wait, you did plays? Yeah. I did all that stuff. He's a theater nerd. Oh, I love it. Which oh, one did you do? The, I wasn't known oh, as a theater yeah, no nerd. No way. Though. Did you do it back? I wasn't known as a nerd. Ask my brother. I wasn't. But I wasn't. It's not <laughs> He's like, making a skeptical face. It's not like I was face. a nerd, dude. Like, huh. I was like, cool. Yeah. See. Huh. Anyway. What I like about Steve is like he has high self esteem no matter what. Yeah. yeah. Like if, if he wasn't cool, he still remembers himself as being Big cool. Big dick energy, baby. 
I, I wish I had that. That's like, it. I just remember things as they were in the real form. <laughs> oh my I remember gosh. things as they were in real form. Oh, too. yeah, yeah, yeah. Interview people from my high school. We should, okay. we should, we should do, do a full blown investigation. Do that. that would be funny, actually. Go for like, how cool so, was Steve? Anyway, he oh, doesn't yeah. have an ugly duckling syndrome. I've had no, a lot of duckling tests on this shit. Oh my gosh, that would yep. be so funny. You yep. should actually take a lie detector test on that. Okay, good. And if the lie detector test is like, that he was popular. I concluded that you weren't cool in high school, I'll be like, you need to fucking lose your job, man. <laughs> that would be fucking hysterical. I just like it because I get to because Nikki hates it. I know it's I so funny because you're just you it's think very I much hate fun. it, but I really don't attract. care. Opposites oh, attract. Opposites do attract. They're like, why would I bring up that I was like a lonely nerdy kid if I didn't own it already? No, of course you do. <laughs> yeah, so I didn't. I don't. It doesn't really bother me that you say you're popular. I just I said we would never have been friends. I mean, that's for sure. Maybe. I wouldn't have been friends with you. And no, it's I also have stories like that, which made me think he was like super arrogant when we first started dating. I just thought he was like the cockiest oh, yeah. son of a bitch. And I'm like, right? I used to pick fights with him fun. because I was just like, you're just so full of yourself. That's but fun. it's kind of, I kind of love the energy though. It's kind Thank of you. amazing. Well, she didn't know me yet, just like I didn't know her. Yeah. So she thought I was that guy. And then I thought that she was. But you kind of like, are that guy because you, you keep have... bringing stories like that up. But I just he's got a sensitive side. But he does. You know what I mean? sensitive side. But I'm an ENT, whatever the fuck, debater guy. Okay. That's all I'm doing. Good for doing you. Doing debate. Oh, yeah. really? Is that yeah. what you're doing? It doesn't mean uh, it doesn't make kid. you look like an asshole. No, I know that, but, yeah. I, but I'm okay it's with that. funny. As long as yeah. the people it's close funny. to me exactly. don't think I'm an asshole. Right. No. I don't think yeah. you're an asshole anymore. I know that. I think you're <laughs> fucking hysterical. And I get right. it. You know what I mean? I've seen your sensitive side. It's kind of like Andy Kaufman when he was wrestling women, you know? Oh, yeah. I love all that. <laughs> oh, that's some good shit. That's some of the best bits ever, man. Right? Oh, yeah. That was so fucking funny. Oh, my God. I haven't even seen that. Oh, my gosh. You have to see it. He's okay. trashing on him and being like, you suck. I'll beat your ass. And then he's getting his ass beat by the women. But then he's talking shit afterward. <laughs> yeah. Because the whole thing was a was a troll. Yeah yeah, yeah. 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 But it was really funny. Like, in real life, you wouldn't know that he was actually really sweet and kind. Yeah, but, yeah. like, on camera. And, oh, my gosh. He was awful. Oh. Oh, that's how say horrible is. things. Yeah, it was yeah. really funny. Yeah. I love it. Yeah. I still think it's, I get but it. I, I get feel it. like lately you've been showing your more sensitive side. Ah, whatever. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like everyone's got, like, it, we all, because we're all comedians here, you yeah. have your human side and you have your comedian side. You know yeah. what I mean? Your comedian side is never going to be as nice as yeah, your so, human so side. So tell us you know? how. Yeah, it's just, rea it's just reacting. Yeah. yeah. Tell us how you got into comedy. Tragedy. Yeah. I mean, I would assume. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of it. Yes. <laughs> and that's why I'm funny. Yeah. <laughs> but I was, it was okay. I remember it was 2010 and I was like, you know, I'm not getting really any auditions. This shit sucks. Like my manager was like, uh, you have to drive me because he didn't have a fucking car. Oh my okay? God. Manager you have was to, great. Oh, super great. Yeah. We've all had our share of awful managers Oh my here. gosh. I was just so... Of it. And he only represents women, and I was like, okay. And then he was like following and liking all these porn stars, and like he mm. didn't represent any, which is fine. I don't care if you do porn, but like or strip or whatever the hell you want to do, you do you. But like, it just wasn't a good look for someone who was trying to be taken right. seriously as an actress. I mean, I'm not doing Shakespeare, but like also, yeah. you know, I don't want to be associated with just like scuzzy porn manager. Yeah. Yeah. So I was like, please don't be Ron Jeremy. <laughs> but he wasn't, thank God. <laughs> but that guy is really creepy. So, <laughs> I mean, he like literally, I was at an event. Sorry, this is a totally different story. He was playing his harmonica next to me at this event. Ron the like, gifting suite. Super creepy. Like literally cl like as close How? as you two were. Hmm. And he asked me where I called home. How were you surprised that Ron Jeremy's creepy? Uh, I mean, I'm not. Are but you like, the only person who's approach, like didn't know that he's creepy? His approach, His though. whole brand is, I am the creepiest guy on earth. And here, he's I mean, you guest. two should hang out, though, for real. Like, low-key, I would love to have him on your podcast. I think that would be really funny. It. Oh, my gosh. I would love so it. Funny. Um, and he still uses a flip phone, which I think is really strange. Ugh. Like, that's <laughs> sus. <laughs> hey, wait, but I actually miss harken back to missing the days of the flip phone because you don't spend like, you know, hours fucking, on social media or like 30 minutes on it in the morning. You know what I mean? Like, I miss all that. Why shit. Why don't you go back to having one then? Yeah. Well, no, but this is like what me and my buddy talk Be about. really cool and we retro. We talk about how we miss it, but we're not going back. <laughs> I mean, that's like saying like, oh, man, like the AC made me not want to go outside anymore. But it's like I'm staying inside. Right. <laughs> wait, one week challenge. Dare you to go back to a flip phone. But Ooh. what's in it for me? I gotta you get to talk about the experience. Week, and yeah. then I get to talk about talk how about, I suffered for a week. Right, yeah. That's what people do on YouTube for now. They art. go, I tried this for 30 days and oh, this is true. what happened. They yeah, And people like to see other people suffer. And then they like we kind of live vicariously through it. Like, well, I'm not giving up sugar for 30 days, but this guy did it. And whoa, he got some abs out of it. So cool. and then I go back to eating my chocolate. <laughs> uh, pretty much, yeah, yeah, pretty much. But you did stand up too, right? I did, yeah, yeah, yeah. So for seven years. You know how the grind is. Yeah, yeah. Well, like, so the thing is, I love stand up. I freaking I miss it. I love it. I love. There's nothing better than the feeling of a live audience. Um, being there and like you know, kind of like riffing with them and kind of like kind of surfing the crowd. Basically, I feel like you're like riding that wave, right? Um, but. 
I was not a night person. I'm not like I'm a morning person. And so a lot of the stand up culture is you got to hang and socialize at night, like really late at night, like 2 a.m. And I had auditions and I had a waitressing job, which I was like the night shift is like the best shift. Right. So it was kind of a juggling act between uh, acting for auditions, going to my acting classes, where, which were at night and then also doing stand up shows and trying to like work the circuit at night, They need night morning stand-up. They should they need they some good morning, morning stand-up. Stand yeah. yeah. yes. That's, what it well, is. that's, kind, of, that. that's kind of like what YouTube uh, personality videos kind of, I transitioned to sketch comedy, which is like, it's doing it's doing acting, it's yeah. doing comedy, you get to improv still, and you can do it in the daytime. Yeah. So it doesn't like, yeah. you know, mess with it. And I don't have to socialize. Yeah. So uh, for an introvert, it's, uh, it's pretty great. Yeah, for sure. You know sure. what's the worst shit though? You, you do Just Kidding now, right? Yeah. So we were we were doing JK News at fucking seven in the morning. Sometimes I'm like, damn. Bro. You did that. At, you drove that far at seven yeah. o'clock in the morning. So What's I'm wrong like, with it's you? Less dude, these traffic. call times. I'm like, oh, really? come on, but it's, bro. But it's I gotta to... fucking turn it on at seven in the morning, dude. And wow. Steve's a night person. See, that's how I felt when I did my stand up show. So I did my first show back in five years, um, and I haven't done a show since then. But it was just to challenge myself because I was going yeah, through my divorce yeah. and like all this shit. It's and very I was therapeutic. Like, yeah. Well, it was cool just because like I set that goal and I was like, I'm gonna fucking do it. Fuck everyone else. Like everyone said I could do it my manager even really? told me what? like Managers? don't my like, manager do said up? yeah my manager said you don't have an hour don't waste their time so I was like, fuck everyone, I'm gonna do this shit. So and good then you for dropped you. him off at his mom's See, house. See, I told you she was ambitious. Yeah, so I was like, yeah, yeah, right, exactly. Yeah. Uh, uh, no, Don't no, tell no, since she can't do something. One. I figured it. Yeah, it's a different one. So, uh, this is a different one. This guy takes the bus. But when I went there, because, like, okay, first of all, your adrenaline, like, going there, you're excited. It was my first show back. Like, just a travel schedule because it was in Philadelphia, which shout out Philly, love you guys, you're fucking amazing. Got there the morning of, I had to do a radio show. And I, like got no sleep, you yeah. know what I mean? Like on the not. flight and like the night before, I had to be there, makeup and hair ready, which takes three hours to do all this fucking shit oh to my, my face and hair. Yeah, I had to be there on camera ready, like seven thirty or six thirty, six thirty in the morning. Imagine that, and then Dude, going I, to perform for a seven thirty, you know, show in the evening. It's Dude, crazy. I had to. I hosted the Playboy Morning Did Show for a nap? stint, which was like oh, uh, on Playboy TV or whatever. And uh, yeah, nobody ever watched it. I bet everybody. Uh, it's did. basically like people who fell asleep watching Playboy the night before, which is like a less audience than ever. They oh. would wake up to like I guess me and the the co host Andrea Lowell, who's great. And I love her. She's she's awesome. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And they and uh, they would watch that show, I guess, or they would turn off the tv after hearing noise but but um oh, i did it for like a, a month and dude yeah the call times was like 6 a.m it's like holy shit you gotta How? just you gotta turn at it on fake titties that, that early in the morning right they had and, girls running around naked yeah, though. they, they, they had girls like mm -hmm. full-on dancing titties out everywhere like rubbing titties all over each other at at fucking 8, 7, 15 in the morning. You're like, how do they even want to do that? They probably didn't go to sleep from the night before. Yeah, yeah. You know exactly. what I mean? They were probably partying or and something. And they're wearing heels and shit. I'm like, you, and they're fully made up. I'm like, dude, you got, you got like four for That's this? That's dedication. Yeah. That's dedication. Yeah, it is. Just it to is. be on the Playboy Morning Show where literally nobody's even looking at your face looking at your tits all the time. I know. You know, so I know. sometimes you take extra work first to in order to like work your way up the totem pole. That's true. And those boob jobs, they got done in a fucking bathtub with ice cubes. Ooh. Like some of those boob jobs are the absolute nuttiest. That's so sad. You're like, sad. dang, dude, did you get a sandwich with this? Poor thing. Dang. Don't make fun. No, 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 That's but, it's, sad. but it's real. I it know. is real. Because you're seeing bad... it under halogen light bulbs and shit. Yeah, you That's see it. Sad. You see it. Yeah. All right. But at least you know they paid it off quick. Well, uh, this <laughs> this first so half went nice. by really fast, but we will continue this exact conversation right after the break. Hey, are you listening to Shit They Don't Tell You? Because if not, how are you listening to this ad about Shit They Don't Tell it's You? It's because they can't show. turn it off. They don't know how to they turn, don't know it how it turn it off. Well, that's pretty convenient for They're us. They're throwing their phone on the ground right now. Once you can figure it, it out, could you please rate us and subscribe and like um, tell us that we're beautiful? We, Listen. We want it. We need the validation, We, but mostly we need the ratings because, I mean, that's basically how the world is, is run, my friend. how we continue to make more and more and more of this content, this glorious content that you love so much. If you like the show, support the show. And if you don't like the show, support the show. And it's for free. The the stars are for free. Yeah, you give them you give them away for free. It's not like if you give five stars, you pay more money. They should have charged for every single star. That would have made so much money. <laughs> <laughs> it just made a killing. Yeah, no, that's true. There is some bad boob jobs out it's there. Great. I see. Yeah, Dude, I've seen some bad ones. It was like universal. Yeah, it was universal. It was crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. One goes like here, and the other one's like there. And yeah, right. There. <laughs> you know, yeah. It made me, and like, we're back. <laughs> Dude, it made me against boob jobs for like a sec. Really? I was like, I don't Wait, know, are man. you for boob jobs now? Because you know all this stuff is coming out with yeah. the FDA or whatever that like. What? Um, 
Yeah, like all these claims are Sage happening are around. Probably uh, not. I wouldn't be jobs. surprised. I'm already having so many health issues. Who uh, cares? Apparently, it's some fresh one. It's some fresh hot take. Yeah, on no, it. it's this new thing where like it's very controversial now whether they even want to keep doing boob jobs for people. If I don't, I can't. But see, the thing is, like, I'm. It's worth dying to keep them. You know. <laughs> I hear you. See, like, I don't want to be flat chested. And so I'm for that. Like, if you want to do something dangerous to your own body, yeah. and like because like you would like rather do that and risk your life than have to live your life in like not the way you want it. Yeah. You know, I'm for people being able to make their own choices. So Thank like, you. like people doing drugs, like yeah. sure, like I'm not gonna do drugs, but like yeah. if people want to do drugs, um, because it makes them feel better and that's like what they want to do in their life, like that's their life. So that's I'm why I'm for drugs. euthanasia. As long as it doesn't too. hurt anybody else. I don't get it. If you're not gonna hurt anybody, you just wanna fucking <laughs> your grandma is sick and she wants to go, like why can't we help grandma go? Yeah. What's the deal? Freedom exactly. of choice. Let her go, man. I totally agree. <laughs> Quality of life is well, in the fucking dumps, bro. But like the yeah. uh, the Brazilian butt lift is something that I'm like thinking about getting done and I heard Cardi B got the shots. There's like these butt shots that you like it's like what? an illegal substance that they put in your butt. And it's crazy. Like, you can die and Cardi B. Like, she has interviews of her talking about this. She's like, I was going to go back and get some more, but the woman went, she went to jail because it was illegal and a girl died on her table. Oh my God. When Jesus. I hear about this shit, I'm like, why? That's it's something I wouldn't do. See, I used to get made fun of her having a butt in school. Like, a big butts were not in in the 90s. It was very, like, you know, you got like a thin, as thin and thin as possible. And so, like, you had huge boobs were a big thing, but yeah. like, not a big butt. Yeah. I'm just so, waiting for big butts to go out again, so take you down, Peg. <laughs> But now, like, I'm like, man, I would give, I would have given anything to make my butt smaller back in the 90s. And now people are getting illegal substances in their butt to yeah. make it bigger. What are they Isn't putting that in crazy? there? Fucking va- what, like, I don't know. It'd be interesting to Google to figure out what they, I put my yeah. phone on airplane mode. But, like, it would be interesting to Google what the substance is. I don't know what it is, Weird. but it's illegal. Dude, so I, Cardi B I was, got it, though. Uh, yeah. I was reading about this, um, this surgery that people can change their eye color and it's illegal here but it's legal in India and um, it's called ocular something I can't remember but they change their eye color because they want blue eyes and they don't want to be brown eyed right Holy because it's bad Ooh. but everybody goes blind like they all go blind from <laughs> See, it that's not worth it right yeah but like they'll still do it because it's worth it to them that the chance they won't go blind but get to have blue eyes Wear contact. So is it worth it to have 40 35 vision, but you get to change your eye color? No, because I like my eye color. Oh, yeah, okay. she has blue eyes. Yeah. <laughs> well, no, but I'm saying, but I'm just talking in Green general. Eyes. If you didn't like your eye color, would it be worth it to have worse vision, but the eye color that you like? No, because I wear wigs. I just put contacts in. You know what oh, I mean? Yeah. It's like the same thing to me. That People need yeah. to learn to love their brown eyes. It's beautiful. It's well, then why, wait, about let me ask you this then. Yeah. On that same thinking, that, uh, maybe I already know the answer. Why not just stuff your bra and why get it permanent? Because when I'm naked, it's not the same. Yeah, that's that's yeah. kind of the answer that I was thinking. Yeah, because yeah. it's going to just, no, because I had nothing. I was like this. Mm. Like, gotcha. you know what I mean? I was probably concave. So you were barrel <laughs> shaped and flat chested. Yeah. And so, okay. Super attractive. Okay, yeah. I get it now. <laughs> I mean, it's not, hey, if you're out there and you're barrel bodied and you're flat chested, there's nothing wrong with it. But if you're unhappy, being able to have the choice to do something like is, do something. is pretty empowering. That's pretty cool. Yeah. If you can do something about it, do something about it. Yeah. You know what I mean, <laughs> if that's what you want. And I did. And I needed it. And I don't what regret I it. What I like about fake boobs is um, like in you could you can wear like dresses with a low cut and oh, you yeah. still have cleavage without. Um, My boobs go like this, to... though. Oh, okay. I, they have to bring them in to be friends because they're kind of so still wear they like go, a little bit of a bra. They, set, they part. This. Yeah. They're just like this. So like any dresses that go too much like that, like I need some support. Oh. You know, I need a little help from my friends over here. Okay. They just run away from each other. You know <laughs> but what I mean? You can wear backless dresses. For sure. Yeah. Yeah. And it's still like it still looks good, but yeah. like it's not like, you know, you I'm not TV. like, yeah, I'm not okay. like the Instagram model that, you know, you see. You with... do look like an Instagram model. Though, I mean, Sid. thank you, but like, I don't really feel like one all the time, you know? It's like that whole ugly duckling syndrome. <laughs> the first time I saw fake boobs, I was uh, living at the Oakwood Apartments. Um, uh, shut up. They renamed them now. They did? Yeah, I don't know what they're called now. Springwood? They're very famously so. known for because mm. every acting douchebag lives there. Everyone. And, and I lived there. And uh, I went to the pool and. And there was a chick laying down, and her boobs were so far apart from each other. I was like, "What the fuck is absolutely happening?" Yeah, what the fuck is happening? I just was so weird. That I didn't know what was happening. I was like 19 years old. I didn't know. Yep. But they were fake boobs. I didn't know. Yep. Some girls just have far apart boobs. They're like snowflakes. You know, they're not yeah. all the same. Yeah. But it's not like mine are like this. But no, it's hers just were like, like that. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. Oh my gosh, that sounds scary. Yeah. It you was can't like there was a any. valley in the middle you that you could any, you run, run a wagon for through. That. 
That's, you can't get surgery to fix that. That's oh, like yeah. a natural. It's a that's like a yeah. It's built oh, in. Wow. That distance is built into your body. Yeah, wow. it sucks. Yeah. Yeah. Gotcha. yeah, I've tried. So good job shaming women. No, no, no. I didn't know. <laughs> I was just so confused. I was nineteen years old. I didn't even know. Okay. It was like is the first time. You know when you see something for the first time, like yeah. an uncircumcised yeah. penis, you're like, oh, what happened? Yeah. You know, and then yeah. it's like, oh, okay, that's, <laughs> oh, that's sometimes just how penises are. Like I was yeah. in the San Diego yeah. improv circuit before that, dude. We didn't see any fake anything. Oh. It was just like middle-aged white people coming through or like or like college kids coming through like really nobody with fake boobs or fresh butts or fake chins or anything yeah. nothing no, nothing nose jobs fresh butts. Or... my friend just got a chin implant that's so funny that you say that what do they do I they see, put porcelain I didn't even know about it. they put like a little thing know. right here like to make your jaw more pointy i guess yeah it's what do they call it the projection i laugh at every time i hear that ah, word i was like okay you need to have a more projected made up words to make women pay more money to change their faces it was a dude oh my god it was a dude, was a dude. yeah you got it i was like okay and he's in his 50s and i was like why are you doing this now well, hey you he know, needed wow. it to feel better i mean yeah but why you shame him well i know but it's just funny it's like why didn't you get that I done agree. earlier you I'm know just what kidding. i mean I'm like <laughs> oh, no, but he looks great Fuck him. that's what i say <laughs> he's gay so it's not gonna happen <laughs> gotcha. but you know but it was just funny that he got it like so later in life but yeah. whatever makes you happy you know right I'm down for them I feel like since I got married it's I'm less like um, ooh I wanna get more stuff for done sure because you're comfortable yeah it's not like I wanna fall apart and like look ugly but yeah. I'm just like less interested in like Standing, you know, when you're when you're in your twenties, you're like, oh my god, I gotta have like a perfect something, and everything's like gotta be perfect because then I'm gonna go out and people are gonna take pictures and blah 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 blah. blah. Like I don't really care about the pictures thing anymore. Right. Like, which is so comfortable yeah, and I'm so nice like, to be in that position. What? I'm in my thirties. Mm, I don't really care. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah no, but you have a I feel you. Fucking body, yeah. dude. What the hell ever? Thank you. Yeah. Make it all the time. No, but, but women are very critical <sighs> about their bodies, and especially like you were saying, being on camera, it adds ten pounds, and like. There are a lot of comments that uh, frequently ask if I'm pregnant, and so <gasps> they know. should ask if I'm pregnant. Oh um, my gosh! How dare you? Out there are really nice. You think you're asking because you are hopeful that we'll have a baby, and like that's Aww. that's valid. Like we yeah. do want to have a child soon, but that's sweet. some people specifically are like, "There's a baby bump," and I see it. I'm like. It's it's just Oops. my stomach. No. I'm Oops. just fat. But I hear what you're saying. Yeah. I'm in the same boat with you. But, and I feel yeah. like because we've all been here for so long that it's just like, fuck yes. this. There's a new person moving. There's, I think, 50,000 millennials move every month. Yep. I think that's what mm -hmm. I heard. Into LA? Into yeah, LA. and then 50,000 move out Christ. every day. Yeah. yeah. Every day. Yeah. If you don't book something, you should have to leave. If you don't ah. book something in one year, you should have to leave. We would have no traffic anymore. That's so true. But then we also probably wouldn't be here, right? Yeah. Well, Did you book I, anything the first year you were here? I know I didn't. No, but the I don't care. About, I'm talking about now. <laughs> I booked a commercial. <laughs> it's a new law. I booked yeah. a commercial the first year. Congratulations. And I book? used um it was like a it was a commercial for some old people thing, like some old person pill, but I was playing a ballerina in it. I was playing a fifteen year old ballerina. There you in go. It. Get it, um, girl. And yeah, it was like this thing where we were supposed to be technically like featured extras, but it was like the last um thing to get my card. So your you side know? card. To, yeah. And so but then what happened is since we had to do our own choreography we actually got bumped up someone wrote into sag and like they changed our pace so we were actually considered like uh like principal characters oh, and wow. so it ended up being like a seven thousand dollar check <gasps> rather than like a three hundred dollar check right. and i used all of that to put into my acting career to like launch it in the beginning so like headshots smart. and uh i paid for a year of acting classes i paid for private coaching like all of that went into back back into that oh my gosh that's so smart of you too wow that is yes. such a better story than booking panic at the disco panic is at the disco booked? yeah but i was just like an that's extra so and i passed out on set and i had to use my sister's id to get the job because i was 17 oh and i wasn't God. old enough to get the job that's a way better story what no, are you talking no, no, about no 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 i was like i hated it i was like this is oh. fucking miserable yeah, extra work is terrible and you got seven thousand dollars and did. you got to play a 15 year old ballerina yeah. and do your own <laughs> choreography i mean that sounds like way better yeah. <laughs> it's pretty are like a, a very very interesting group of people. Hey, my grandma Aren't was my grandma so was um, a regular weird. extra. They're really they're the gypsies of our of our time. I mean, they they're so are. They're very interesting. Well, no, because I was on set of the Wedding Ringer and I was like featured whatever the hell whatever right. that means. And uh, so I had like a, a it couple means you scenes. don't have lines, but you're in the scenes exactly. Yeah, and, and the cameras on you or whatever, and they all think that's incredible. And so they come <sighs> up to you after the scene or whatever, and they're like, Hey, did you know that? Because you, you just said some shit, you can get a bump. 
And then they're like all swarming around me. You can get a bump. 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 And I'm like, oh my god, I gotta get. And then they get excited if they go into 16 hour work days because they get paid like golden hour. They're all watching to the minute. And then one guy followed me to my car, telling me about how how all the different things I could do to get an extra bump. And like, and then like if I drove here for above 50 miles or something, I can get a bump for that. And then like if I took the bus, I can get a bump for that or whatever. It's like. this guy guy sounds amazing i don't know why you didn't put him in your movies i I should have you should have i feel like you really missed a huge opportunity i never got his his card which is impressive because i got everyone else's (laughs) they all have cards with their headshots and shit on it it's like okay it's like a type of person it's interesting i lived with one for a while too his name was Stuart, and he was an irishman and he told me about he's like He's like, oh, I'm on Glee. And I'm like, holy shit, this cat's on Glee. I'm like, well, you live in a fucking dump, but you live on Glee. And then uh-huh. and then it turned out that he was just a constantly extra on Glee. Like he was in the extra rotation where wow. he was just one of the people who walked by in suits constantly. Aww. But for him, he's on fucking but Glee. But that was my yeah. grandma. That's what I was trying to say yeah, yeah, yeah. is that my grandma was a professional extra and she was, she was thrilled. She wasn't trying to be like a principal player or anything. She just loved it because like before that, she was just like a stay at home like... Yeah. you know housewife and then she like got to like do stuff and she was kind of a ham and she, uh-huh. she liked to be like center of attention but not like an actor so right. she would try to stand right next to the principal actors yeah. uh-huh. and then she would tell us like what shows she was on and she'd always be right next to them Muggin. yeah it's, and she was I union love it. She was union, so she would get paid like pretty decently. That's and she would work every day. And yeah, and she just liked it. She liked being different characters every day. She liked like, you know, wearing different wigs and like being different and she was older, so she gets cast as like different types of um people. Oh my gosh, yeah. that sounds fucking his it just reminds me of all the people on the red carpets, you know, that like want to take pictures next to like the celebrity yeah. and it just like sounds the like she girl. So, yeah, yeah. It sounds but she, your grandmother sounds like a boss. Oh yeah, she was great. And then so I wanted to be an actor when I was a kid and she was the one that got me into it. And so right. I started doing extra work when I was a kid and I thought it was the coolest thing because I get taken out of school yeah. and um and you could only do that if you were getting a certain grades and i was getting like really good grades so like the school approved that uh workers permit for a kid but i my the first movie i was on was the pest and i got to like have lunch with john leguizamo and like oh, wow. uh, yeah all the cast and i thought it was cool as and she was fuck. on power rangers oh, yeah i was on what? power rangers and stuff um, and back then they didn't give vouchers so like i didn't i technically should have been in sag by the time I was 12, but I, right. they didn't do that back then. Right. Um, but nowadays, if you work under the age of 16 or something like that, you automatically are union. That's pretty cool. Yeah. I didn't know that. I, I was lucky. I I got union because I was a member of AFTRA. Oh, before that's, they how, merged. that's how I got it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's the only reason. Mm-hmm. I never got any SAG, anything. Same. And yeah. we saved so much money that way. Oh, my gosh. You kind of did, though. You know, He's a in. SAG must yeah. join now. And Dude, I'm like, it's like, SAG is hunting me with rifles right now. Shut the fuck They're up. like outside, maybe. Shut the fuck up. Oh, yeah, because I've been in so much shit and I got Taff Hartley so many times <laughs> that like SAG's like calling people. They're calling my grandma and shit. They're going, where is he? <laughs> They're, they're trying to repo my car. So, um, <laughs> that's fucking funny. They're crazy, man. <laughs> so you did Don't a lot tell of... SAG I'm about this podcast. Don't tell them where All I am. All right, at. back to Ugly Duckling Syndrome. <laughs> you did a lot of work to like get where you are now. Yeah, from what are you, like you're talking about cosmetic. Boy. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah I did. Well, you know, and and spiritual growth. Oh, and, a lot of spiritual and growth. And just like owning who you are. Yeah. And uh, and you know, it, yeah, you got lipo, but you also like. You're a hardcore like workout addict. I see you doing exercise all the time. Dancing. Personal trainer, dancing. Yeah. Like you, it's not like you just slacked after that. I can't. Exactly. Or else I will get fat. It's an investment. Do you ever have a fuck at night? You just want to order pizza and just chill. Fuck yeah! Especially when I get my period. I'm like, it's it's on. Yeah. Like I literally had M and M's like yesterday. Like, and that's all I had. That's oh my tight. god. <laughs> that's all you ate the whole day. But it was so bad. Like literally, my joints feel it today. It's like <laughs> my bones it's, hurt now. Oh, they really do though. I'm like, okay, that was really stupid. From an M&M bin. Oh, wow. okay, it's like so when you get older, it's not fun. Do yeah. you get typecast now because you do comedy and you do characters and you can you can <laughs> yeah. do a lot of things? But do people tend to typecast you into just this? Of one course they type do. Of role no one now. thinks that I can do anything. Yeah. It's really fucking. It's like really after all these years in this fucking business, yeah. you don't see all of the other shit that I can do. So yeah, I, I got. A role which I'm not uh, upset about. I'm like, whatever, I'll get money. Like, yeah. fucking pay me. Fine, I'll do it. I don't care. 
but it's it's very frustrating to right. continue to have to do that. So I'm trying to get into like it's voiceover. It's like damned if you do and damned if you don't. Because before <sighs> you get like, oh no, you got to lose weight. You got to like make your face look better. You got to look like blah, now blah, you're blah, too blah, pretty. Blah. And then it's like, oh, now you're too pretty and you can only do this one role. Yeah, it's That's weird. crazy how that is. Yeah, now I'm, I know I'm not going to be fucking hot forever. I'm going to be, you know, age out. And <laughs> you know, I do. It's what? like, you're going to get older. Like, well, you, you can age into the hot mom stuff and do all that for shit. For sure, for sure. You some ABC family show. That's what yeah, I'm into right now. Awesome. I just want to book a mom role on a sitcom that lasts for nine seasons that's all I want to do I just yeah. want to be a mom like Sofia Vergara <laughs> like I don't want to yeah dude. I, I like before I'm a mom in real life where I like actually have to deal with kids and babies and stuff I just want to play a mom yeah for like a long ass time on a, a sitcom you should that would be I so awesome to. see isn't it crazy how we both have the same goals yep. but like Hollywood has just not been as kind as yeah. they could be to us and we've it's not because we haven't tried it's not because we haven't put the work or effort in it's just right. everyone's got a different stroke of luck you know and what there I mean? are more shows than ever now and because of all the platforms out there there's gonna be even more shows next year next year next year right like disney plus is coming in and like all this other well, shit that's what i'm digging about youtube and digital is that you can make your own content and cut out the middleman you can produce your own stuff yeah and by the way if you want to join us at sticky studios on our patreon that's we are creating up. a lot of new scripted content and we're doing live streams and all kinds of fun stuff so join us over there if you want to check it out but um but yeah it allows us to like create like actually the role that i would want to play rather than like begging to be any role out there that someone will toss me so, i mean i'm getting to that place too didn't you say that you didn't want to audition anymore when yeah, you're on my podcast? Yeah, at the beginning of this year, I was just like so over it because yeah. I'd been doing it for 10 years and uh, like it's it's a grind and it's expensive you know Ugh. acting class acting classes acting coaching the private coaching every time you have an audition you know um working all, all like when you do book it working more with your acting coach the headshots the demo reels like just oh, that's a lot of work and a lot of money and um the amount that I was booking didn't really add up. And the fact that you have to drop whatever you're doing that day to go do the audition and you have to, you know, prep it. It's not just the audition. It's all the prep time and then paying for parking, paying for driving, being stuck in traffic. Yeah. It's a lot of stuff for not getting paid for it. Like I could Absolutely. understand if you're getting paid to do auditions, but you're not. You're like every hours of time and then you get zero. Yeah. It's crazy. Isn't it? Yeah. It's and it's such an interesting point to make for listeners that think, oh, my gosh, we're living the Hollywood dream. You yeah. know, this is amazing. No, no, no. And you're killing it, you know, because they see no, your photos on Instagram yeah. and stuff. But they don't realize the work it takes and the grind. It's so much. Work. And, how, and it's constant work. Yeah, and it, you could be paying for something that will never pay off. Totally. And then what the fuck are you going to be doing? That's with why your life? you really have to love it. Like yeah. you really yes. have to love doing what you're doing in order to like continue every day, waking up, going back to the grind. Yeah, I know. That's why I'm like kind of like acting is not something that like I get super excited about anymore. I mm. love my podcast. I love creating content Same. that I'm excited yeah. about. You know, I love voiceover stuff. You know, if if I have a role that's presented to me, you know, then I'll do it. Like, but when I was on set, I just did one of my friends shorts and yeah you know I realize like I don't have to be the center of attention and like it's emotionally exhausting being on set for like 16 hour days yeah. and then you don't even shoot your scene till whenever totally it's it's a lot of work for and that was free because I was like helping my girlfriend out because we did acting school together like you know 12 years ago right but it's just something that you really have to ask yourself is this like what I want to do well, you, yeah you know like, and I think what I I think yeah that's the same conclusion that I came to and I feel like um I do get excited about acting when it's a role I really like yeah yes. and what better way to get that role than to write it yourself for sure and produce for me, it I just yourself. want to act in my own stuff because I'm just so right. over the like you said the audition -y, all bullshit and yeah stuff. and plus half of the stuff that I read I don't even like that much exactly so I'm like, it's what? so bad like how is it getting made how is this know. offer being presented it's to you crazy yeah. you know like that's how what I'm like a lot how of people sucking dicks out there I mean yeah. no yeah. offense to a lot of people out there it's just not for me literally and there's also some of the best television ever made right yeah, now yeah, I'm just yeah, saying true. like a lot of the shit that I've seen it's like pretty nuts yeah so I'm just like I'll just I just want to do my own shit yeah and you guys have successfully done that and I'm a big fan of both of your careers I think oh, you guys are awesome you. even though you didn't fucking cast me in your movie whatever it's hey, fine I didn't, cast <laughs> I didn't get cast there you know, I, 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 I didn't cast Nikki either I, and I sucked his dick I know yeah, that really sucks for you yeah, in more ways than yes. and I was like maybe if you do a little better tonight <laughs> exactly. man, we'll see about that <laughs> Exactly. And I still didn't do it. She was pissed. Yeah, and I was streamies. like, welcome to Hollywood. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Well, especially since from Inception, when they were started writing it, they're like, and you'll definitely play this role, and you'll so definitely good. play this role. And then when it came to it, it yeah. was like, well, yeah, you're not. Well, yeah, I can play <gasps> well, we, I, we don't, we, we, you know, How yeah, dare you? We started out being like, we're not going to play the politics, but then when you're in those rooms and you're doing the shit, you're like, we got to play the politics. Wait yeah. a minute. Damn. Wait, were you guys already married when this happened? I forget. Uh, we were no. engaged. Oh, th that could have broken up the engagement. Um, so you're recently Classic. single. Yes. Speaking of dating, I know my divorce is final in December. Congratulations. Thank you. 
uh, after being married for years. So what's dating like now? Fucking like, miserable. Do people assume like certain things about you based on oh, how you look? For and- sure. They all think that they can fuck me because of my Instagram and they all like, you know, treat me. So it has me. a lot of sexy pictures on her Instagram. Yeah, but that's not who Why I am. Why are you so hard to fuck? Right. Um, this is the second hard to fuck story. That's so fucking funny. Actually, I'm not like okay. So I have an alter ego. Her name's Joanne. When I start okay. drinking, she's a whore. Got it. But like you know, she needs. To, I'm like learned that I have to contain her. So she's not allowed to come out on first dates anymore. Because the last time she was out, I, I had an Uber head situation that I was not very proud of. Wait, Uber had a situation. You fucked an Uber driver? Is that what you said? I didn't fuck an Uber driver. I just went down on a guy that I was on a date with in an Uber. I talked oh. about it on my podcast. Oh, and oh. Uber was upset. No, I think he actually got a lot of stars still. Oh, very Yeah, cool. I don't think it messed up his rating. Yeah. I don't know if he gave you stars, though. Well, yeah. yeah. No, we... Well, actually, we went out again, but the guy ended up being an asshole. Okay. So, yeah. So, I'm like, I don't want to do... I want do you know how unsafe that is to be sucking on his dick in the back of the Uber? I wish we would have hit a pothole, you know, now yeah. that I know the guy a little bit better. <laughs> I get it. Chomp down a little bit. I get it. Be like, whoopsie. But, uh, but, yeah, I hate the apps. I just feel like everyone's fucking everybody. No one's taking anyone serious. When I got married, Tinder, like, you were still kind of a whore if you were on it. Like, it wasn't, oh. like, super... Like, not everyone was doing it. It was, like, more of like you know like a hookup site yeah Yeah. and now there's so many different apps and I just feel like everyone's dating everyone everyone's lying no one wants to be transparent no one wants to say hey I'm also seeing x y and z because it's like a numbers game now you kind of have to figure and like it took me so long to like grasp that because I like to be in a monogamous relationship I like to be with one person I like to be honest Mm -hmm. which is so weird now I know but you come off as so fuckable on your Instagram though but I know I'm not really like that I know it's like a bummer but a lot of people out there you're gonna be bumming a lot of people out out there yeah but when I'm with someone oh my god it's on but what made you choose to go that direction with your Instagram then playboy okay the girl at playboy Kendra Zager she uh she was the one that like was helping me with my socials and that's how I started growing my numbers. I see. Because she's like, why are you posting like stop signs and all this weird shit? Like you need to like... <laughs> stop signs. <laughs> yeah, I was like, I don't know, I saw it and I was like, I'll post it. You know, because yeah. when Instagram first came out, I was like, what yeah, do we post? Yeah, post like random videos. Yeah. Or random pictures, sorry. Yeah. But then now Instagram stories is that and like Instagram is like a profession. It's feed. like a brand. Let me ask you this. Yeah. It, you're, you call yourself a comedian. Oh. Oh, no, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. But your Instagram is is like Don't fuckable lady. So what's well, what? How do you how do you suss those? Two I things? mix it up. Like yeah. I post some comedic videos. Yeah. I actually, have a sketch I still need to edit called yeah. Franklin and Francis, and it's like a little series that I created that I'm really proud of. That I feel bad that I still haven't fucking posted it. And I do the throwback, you know, photos of me. But like, you can't be a. St- I'm not a stand up comedian. I will say that. Yeah. But yeah. like all of my stuff, if you read my captions, which I know not a lot of people do, I mainly have those hot photos for marketing things. Thank you. Because mm-hmm. that's what gets the eyeballs on you. Sex sells. I don't care who the fuck you For are. Sure. It does. Yeah. yeah. So <clears throat> you'll see my captions. You'll see my jokes. Because like I do think about that shit before I post it. I used to just post like inspirational bullshit quotes. And I was like, literally, I'm turning into my slutty selfie video. I see. <laughs> you know what I mean? But I used to like produce content all the time. Yeah, that's how we met. Yeah. And then yeah. you were in my series, had, um, the... Teresa Branson, Fab Life Teresa Branson, yeah. which won a comedy award. Yeah. Oh, congrats. Yeah, congrats. Thank you. Uh, but... It's really expensive, as you know, to produce content. So I yes. can't produce that on the regular. Or else I would just be pumping that out on my Instagram Same. all the time. That's you know? exactly how I you feel. Know? But I try to mix it up. Yeah. I try to mix it up. Well, plus it's well, it's like, one of those things where it's like branding, though, right? Like, I'm talking about just branding in general, like how I talked about when yeah, you came yeah, in yeah. here. Like, when... Because it's so confusing for me personally. Because oh, when sure. I think of you, I think of the bikini stuff and all that stuff. Yeah. And I don't go to comedy immediately. Yeah. Even though I know that you're capable of that. Yeah. Very capable of that. It's just one of those things where it doesn't... So, like... When I, if I'm thinking of casting like a funny girl on something, yeah. like top of my head, that's not gonna come. But if I think of casting fuckable chick for a thing, top of my head, that's gonna come. See there what I'm I saying? Am. Yeah, yeah, It's one of those sure. things that's like, it's tough to nail down because the brand is so All over different, the place. but then you're capable of so much more, like my wife. I know. Yeah, but it's hard to also like, um, it's true. I hear your you, point. You either go yeah. one way or the other, right? Like you're either like, Fuck it, I own that. I own my sexuality. I'm sexy. I can be both, right? And you can post like sexy pictures and be fine with it. Or the way that I went was like, oh no, I can't be sexy. I have to hide that mm-hmm. part of me yeah. in order to book uh, the like more comedic roles. Otherwise, people won't take me seriously as a comedian or whatever. When I went on stage, I would wear hoodies and like do my hair messy, take my makeup off. Yeah, like it was like whatever I had to do to be to unsexualize myself. Yeah, but that wasn't healthy either because like I'm a whole person. Yeah, like I like sex. I uh, 
want to like look sexy sometimes mm -hmm. like when I feel like it when I'm in that that kind of mood like if we're dressing up if yeah. we're going somewhere if we're on a photo shoot like For if sure. I worked hard to like you're hot work out and stuff you should embrace it more you should like you know you, you should be able to but then I was also you know I'd be scared that like oh no it's gonna hurt my like comedy See, career, I think so. fuck it use it you now know what I'm I mean? like that now I'm like fuck yeah. it you know I, I think people are just whole people like they're, they're, fuck sure. this whole like my brand is not sexy and like my brand is a person like I'm a person yeah. but casting is to type always and yeah. so, like like you go to you went to Sam Christensen right, so Studios it makes, it makes and he's you more trying to help you too. right so he's he's trying to help you figure out what he's you're amazing he's a great guy he died so, yeah, Why just does a few everyone months ago? I know die. <laughs> so he's That's so a quote. he's trying to help you figure out what your image is and like yeah. what you should go out for because of your image. But he also gives you a range. Yeah, for sure. No, yeah. and there is a range. Yeah. But I'm just talking about I'm just talking about the idea of all this stuff and how that how that works and does it work against you or does it work for you? Because mm -hmm. it's it's not it's for me. So it's for true. the casting people out there that are when that you, have a tough time. That's why when I didn't want to be like a like performing for a casting person anymore. Like I wanted to just make my own stuff because, like you said, they won't know until you can do it. Yeah. So just just do your your own stuff and then you don't have to like prove to yourself that I'm this or I'm that or whatever. Yeah. I completely agree, but he does have a point and it's so hard to figure that out because the way I branded my Instagram was the hot girl because that's yeah. what sold. But it's it'll be, you know, it's still one of those questions I'm trying to figure out. So when you said that you didn't offend me, you actually made me think. I'm not I was even like, trying to. Yeah, yeah I, was I, like, I just wow, genuinely want to know. That's a good point. Because it's like, it's a thing out there. I've seen it with a couple people actually, because sex does sell. It and does. And so a lot of comedian chicks or, or people who are trying to do comedy and they're chicks, they do a lot of bikini stuff constantly, constantly, constantly to get their numbers up. Yeah. And it helps, but then they're not seen but as But then they comedians. can't tr transition. Exactly. Into, yeah. I just feel like I've done so much and I have such a, you know, large body of work that I've created over the years that it's like, if you don't want to take the time to get to like, but they won't, they you don't. know, that's they don't. true. They want to see you and know what you are immediately. Oh, that, that's what yeah. casting is, right? Like yeah. I see you, I know what you're, I know, I know your type, I know what you can do, what you can't do. All that yeah. Stuff. It's, it's a very superficial uh, uh, medium. Because when you look at somebody in a movie and they're called the hot girl, but they're not hot, don't you complain? You're like, she's not even hot. Why is she the hot no. girl? <laughs> I, mean, you know I think that you she knows that. someone. I just think that she knows someone. What I get like bothered at is the numbers. Like, mm -hmm. you know, when people, no offense, kind of yeah. what you did, but <laughs> that pisses me, me off. Me too. When they don't have talent. And they book something because of numbers. That makes me angry. I don't get. I don't really judge people about their aesthetics because of like my issues mm -hmm. growing up with the ugly duckling shit. I'm yeah. just like whatever. It mm -hmm. is what it is. But it's or if they're related to like the producer or the celebrity or whoever the fuck like pulled strings, then they don't deserve to be there. That pisses me off. My thing is if they built their numbers through having a demographic of like let's say eight to thirteen year olds, and then they get cast into something that's aimed at adults. Be just because of their numbers, but they're not even like an actor or right for that role. Yeah. But like people just think more eyeballs are going to be on their project. But I'm like, that's not their demographic though. That you still won't get those eyeballs because they're eight year old kids. Like, a, but a number just looks like a number to yeah to production. It's that's just all they very care about. You're literally yeah. just a number to them. Yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? At the exactly. end of the day. And so. your cattle, dude. Your cattle. In there. I know. It, it, it's that's what's hard but about dude, it. Having been on the other side, it just is like that. It's the weirdest shit in the world. Like when. When people come in and they they um, you have that awkward conversation with them and then like they do their thing and then they leave and then you're on to the next one already yeah. and it just is yeah. it's weird it is so and it's it's because we're taking it personal because it's us like mm -hmm. what other industry do you know where they're well, like because you put you know so I mean? much time into it yeah you know? and you know all the time you put into it but they don't know yeah all the time you yeah so it, you yeah. got them for three minutes but they spent three hours on it or more oh, and then yeah. they spent three hours driving there and then going home so it's just like man yeah. it's a rough rough Sorry. business why I do think, we do it i think uh like <laughs> casting directors that have been around a while they know they like you know take all that into consideration but still they do but some know, of them really still are yeah, not the still happiest people and they be. can't wait to just yeah. say no to you again you know what they I mean? want you to be on your game immediately when you walk in the door oh for sure yeah yeah, yeah. i love the ones that you, they, want you to but win. they also want you to own the role like they can't wait to see somebody come own right. it so that we can go home yeah yeah, yeah, totally. yeah. so it's it's both it's a bothy i get both sides that's so true yeah that's so true i know gosh now i'm like what the fuck am i supposed to do with my instagram no you're fine I mean, but, but just, ask, just I just genuinely want to know. What do you want to do more? Do you want to do you want to do the, make... the comedy roles more, or do you want to do the the hot girl roles more? Oh, I don't care. I want to do roles that are meaningful, yeah. and I want to make great art, and I want to make a lot of money. Yeah. So that's what I, like I care all those about. Goals. I, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I don't. I don't care how what role it is, as long as it's a good one, and cool. it like excites me. Okay. You that's know. Awesome. But yeah, that's. I'm just so fucking. I'm trying to figure it out because I think once I. I just answer that question. So now I'm like in my head going, 
well, it really doesn't fucking matter <laughs> what I <laughs> post if I don't care about the role. But yeah, I mean, it's not like I'm trying to like transition myself into like, oh, I'm going to take everything off and just be like strip right, my whole, right. you know what I mean? Yeah, it's yeah, like, yeah. I just want to make money doing what yeah. I love. You do you. Yeah. Exactly. Just like do you. Is, that's my final thought is do you. Yeah. yeah. Um, Sid, thank you so much for coming on today. Seriously. Thank you, are you so for lovely. having me. Yeah. I love great having energy. you on yeah. here. You have thank a you great guys. energy. Where thank can they you. find so you? Guys. Oh, you can find me uh, at Sid Wilder on Instagram. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to keep my brand. Keep it. I am. Keep it. Don't and let me take it from you. I don't want to take it from you. Oh, I you just genuinely want to know. Actually, is that what your this whole conversation was about? Are you trying to be the hot girl? I, wanna, I would love to be. <laughs> Fuck. He's yeah. jealous. I knew I'm trying to be the hot guy. He's I knew there's an angle. Yeah. There's always an angle. Always. Um, and, then, and then you can also find me at Patreon, Girl Interrupted. Go check that out. You have a podcast, Girl and, Interrupted. Uh, yes, my podcast is Girl Interrupted. Please subscribe yes. on iTunes and you can find it wherever you find all the podcasts. And it's amazing. You guys go check it out. Yay. Yes. Yay. Thanks. And then it. we, um, if you have a, a podcast topic that you would like us to talk about, you can email us podcast at Nikki.limo. You can also find us on Instagram, should they don't tell you. And we like to do this thing called final thoughts where we just say like one final thought to wrap up the, the thing. And I think mine was you do you. Like I just, you know, whatever it is, you do you. Just just be true to who you are um, and what, you know, whatever that is. And I think that even though Steve is saying like, you know, you have to choose between hot delete your Instagram. And, and comedian. <laughs> That's my final thought. I think thought. that both parts Sid are parts should delete of her Instagram. Uh, those are like both true parts of you. If you want to be taken seriously in this town. I agree with what, I mean, obviously I'm going to like totally not agree with Steve, but okay. thank you. Okay, thank fair. you. I really don't care if I don't get taken seriously. It's good for you, Sid. Oh, well, we I will never care. take you seriously. You'll never work again. Thank you so much. <laughs> <laughs> um, I mean, like, people are going to take you seriously or they're not. It's like, fuck them. I think you, <laughs> you should know? have a sense of humor about yourself. And no, it doesn't matter what the fuck you look like. It matters that you're a good person. So, in my opinion, in my book, I know not everyone's going to fucking think that in Hollywood. But being the ugly yeah. duckling and being here for 12 years. And seeing all the shit and all the stuff. Having yeah. a good fucking heart gets you a lot farther in life. I guess my final thought is a good heart doesn't sell movie tickets. Thank you. Oh! <laughs> yes, it does. Look at Leonardo DiCaprio. <laughs> That's Thank really much, fucking funny. Having a sense of humor is also <laughs> fucking amazing. That's all that matters, baby. Yeah. Oh, this guy. Is. This guy's not getting laid for a while. Oh, I mean, on. obviously. No. No. Yeah. Oh, come on. You have to watch female wrestling tonight with him with Andy Kaufman. Okay. Yeah. Oh, they're the best. It's so good. Yeah. yeah. You're gonna be so inspired. Sweet. I can't wait. Well, <laughs> rate us on uh, Apple if you're listening on there or, you know, if your thing has ratings, you know, just give us a good rating. We like that. It makes the, us feel good. The thing ratings. Yeah, the yeah. thing ratings. Yeah. And yeah. check out our Patreon, Sticky Studios. Yeah. Did you just Patreon. say Patreon.com? Patreon? I, I did. You I most certainly did. That was really fancy. Thank you. Patreon.com yeah. slash Sticky. Bye. Thank you. Bye. I love you. Why didn't anyone tell me?